Good evening, everybody. Get ready for an exciting slash hectic slash busy 24 hours. vlog because we're house studios and it's super busy in the parks today. So that's what the social medias of the internet. Social media. That's what they've been saying all day. Is it's super busy, but we're literally at house studios to buy gifts for people, and we'll show you some, but we can't show you some others because like this four-year-old we're gonna buy a gift for doesn't watch our vlogs. But sometime later this week, we're gonna we have a gift for Sarah's older sister. Wait, no, because she's gonna watch it. I want her to I want her to know that there's something coming. Sorry, Jen. This is the last time. This is the last Disney park we're going to before. Okay, look what's happening right here. There are legitimate lightsaber battles going on behind us. <laughs> but I accidentally did something foolish. We just got two items from this store over there. The studio store and it was $75. I was like, oh that's expensive. So me and Sarah walking around I was like, that was expensive for two gifts for little kids. She's like, what? I was like, that's 75 bucks. She's like, wait, there's no way. There was a whole other like set of merchandise. It was a $35 blanket. It was a $40 blanket. That she like had rang up for somebody else and then they didn't want it and it was still on the register. And I just was like, oh whatever. I've been walking out buying gifts for little kids. It's fine. And Sarah's like, no, it's too much. But we fixed it. It was easy peasy. Yeah, and the cast members were really nice about it. Look at this. This is the Jingle Bell Jingle Bam dessert party. I think it's so cool. Like this is a creative, a clever way of using this space in front of the theater now that Great Movie Ride's closed. But like all these little tables and desserts and drinks. There's bars back there with desserts. Can we do that sometime? It's Christmas. Yes. Well, maybe one day. It's full on Christmassy and it's weird because I feel like we're not I feel like we're leaving Christmas by going to Chicago tomorrow. But it's gonna be Christmassy there. Well there's gonna be jungle like once Thanksgiving's over it's like we're gonna go downtown, we're gonna go Christmas tree traffic now. Right? There, I know in downtown Chicago is all Christmassy now because Mickey Mouse already on his birthday lit the magnificent mile. Yes, but we're gonna see on the check on the secret that our friend's dad told us about. I was, this is literally right <laughs> where you left me. I know, but I thought you were going to package pickup. No, I have you to leave. Say what time is it? 11.17. I don't think we're doing so good. Yes, we are. Look at that's the majority of your sweaters. All my sweaters. Clothes, dresses. We just gotta put it in. And then we gotta clean, right? Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna get plain crazy button stuff ready? Yeah, so. <laughs> Just wait until you guys see our fall and winter game. We thrive. We got these crazy things today. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff today. Yeah, we'll show that before when we sign off. We got some serious magic mail today. Mm -hmm. These are milk chocolate sponge candy. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It's super weird. It's the texture, it's weird. Flavor's really good. All right, everybody. Here's an update. It is 10, it is 12.50 a.m. This is now technically a two day vlog. But, here's where we're at now. That's mine with way too much stuff in it. We got some, my work laptop, I'll bring that to work tomorrow and then bring with me to Chicago. That I don't think is anything. Oh, it's got some gifts. Um, we've got this checked and this carry on. So we probably have way too much stuff, but we'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. Plus, uh, we're gonna go chop down a tree in Michigan on Sunday. We're gonna be going downtown at least once, hopefully a couple times. And we're like part Floridian now, or like transitioning. So we'll need all that stuff. What I wanted to show you is that I want to show you some of our magical mail that we got today. We got three packages today, which were awesome. Thank you, and you'll see what they are. Uh, Sarah's hard at work getting stuff ready for playing crazy because it's kind of weird to have packs that are usually we send out our packs on the 22nd. That'll be while we're in Chicago, so we actually had a lot of our stuff that was manufactured, developed, and printed and sent to Sarah's mom's house so we can package that and get it ready and sent out while we're in Chicago on vacation. Um, but I want to show you this stuff before I go to lay down, and that's huge because. Me and Sarah spent the first year of our marriage, me working third shift and going to school during the day, and Sarah going to work during the day. So the first 12 months of our marriage, 
we didn't really didn't see each other other than like three hours a day and I was like asleep for two and a half of those. So we've always made a rule like no one, one of us doesn't stay awake without the other. Like if one of us has to do work for an extra hour, the other one's staying awake. And we're like 9.9 .9 times out of 10, we're great about that. But because of the situation, I have to go to work tomorrow in the morning. It was a long day yesterday, a long day today, it can be a long day tomorrow. Sarah was like, you know what, just go lay down with the dog, or the dog will calm down then. And then try to stay awake, and if you do, you do, you don't, you don't. So it's an exception, I think, but check out this mail. This first piece of magical mail, we actually, ex we actually knew we were getting it, and it says, please pardon our pixie dust. And look at that right there, it's Coronado Springs um, pins, like, like hospi hospitality pins as like a thank you for being understanding of our construction and we actually won these in the give it away from one mouse one dream and we'll put the their their youtube link down below get some great videos and thank you so much for this this pin set we actually have one just like it from wilderness lodge and maybe sarah will be able to find the link and put it in the corner of when we got the similar set but it was like chip and dale pluto and mickey i think um, for that set of pins, but it's still similar, but still a cute awesome feel and I love the three caballeros now The next piece is this beautiful Christmas themed set of Minnie Mouse ears That Sarah got from one of our viewers and she has an Etsy shop Sarah will put her information down below and in a great sweet letter our friends Lee, Elaine, and Isaac, and Sarah will put, there's an Etsy shop, but it, the Etsy shop is only for fans in the UK for the time being. So if you live in America or any other country, definitely check it out. Just sit there and make a wish list until it can ship other places. This was a complete surprise from our friends Dawn and Dan. They've been longtime friends of ours and, and probably like the first couple that we started communicating with via YouTube or because of YouTube. And they said this this little uh, this little Christmas care package with a Christmas card, candy cane coffee for me. Thank you so much. I'm slightly thinking about bringing this to Chicago, but I probably shouldn't. We've got a hot cocoa mixed pep peppermint flavored, probably for Sarah, but we'll, she'll share it with me. I know. And then these Wegmans food you feel good about milk chocolate sponge candy. I decided I like them. It's a different consistency because it's like a sponge on the inside. Hold on. Look at that dog, she's so exhausted. She's got, I call them her like, I call them her, her lazy legs right there. How they like plop out like that. You can see her thighs are like spread out and her, it's hard to see with all the fur, but her thighs are spread out and her legs are just plopped out. She is so tired, it's so late for her. And we gave her a bath and she always gets so tired. And that's our magical mail. So there you have it. It's late. I'm kind of bummed Sarah's iPhone is in Jacksonville, Florida. Go to, if you don't know where that is, go to Google Maps, look up Disney World, look up Jacksonville, Florida. It got there at 8 p.m. tonight and it was supposed to be delivered. We got told it was going to be delivered today, her new iPhone, which would have been great because we leave tomorrow. But it looks like, um, it looks like it's probably going to get here while we're gone. Which is it's okay. I mean, it'll be here when we return. Um, but it was kind of exciting to be able to have the chance to get that phone before we went to Chicago. But I'm going to say goodnight now because there's a high possibility I'm going to fall asleep. Thanks for following along. Get ready for a change of pace in our vlogs for the next six or seven days. Well, everybody, it is 1.45. Finally finished everything up for um, playing crazy. We have a, um, the packs go out on the 22nd, so I'm all set up for that and as well as other packs to go out all at once while we're in Chicago, so I have a whole separate suitcase for that, which is great. It's, it's wonderful that we're able to, to have so many orders and to, to bring them down to Chicago and send them out there and make sure they get out on time, but Peter and Eve are both asleep, don't want to wake them up, so... All I'm going to say is it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>